over here we have the bond brick, we have the hinges, we have all the numerous uh, stuff that was used in building uh, this place. Little wonder they were able to stand the test of time. Wow. This is an example of some of these bricks. Wow, very heavy. These are the burnt bricks we are looking at here. And you can see part of the hinges here. Wow, very heavy metal. So these are samples of the nails that were used in the construction of this place. So, so heavy metal. Little wonder they can withstand this number of years. Over 100 years. So this marked the end of our tour here in the first story building in Nigeria. Right about now we are heading over to the Miracle Well. Hmm. I'm welcoming you to the Miracle Well of 1842. This well has a very kind of, uh, a very interesting story indeed. Why are they referring to this well as the Miracle Well? People often refer to this well as the Miracle Well based on what they think they know. But the fact is that this was the first well that were dug by the missionary in the year 1842. Hmm, that's a very, very long time. That was when I was in primary school. I guess I'm just lying if I should state that. This well was constructed by the missionaries and the good thing about this well is that it happens to be the only well in Badagri as a den that was constantly having a flow of good water. And the water is colorless, perfect to taste. Mm. When I mean perfect to taste, that means what? It's very, very good for drinking and what have you. And as a result of that, based on the fact that people, other persons were digging wells and is either they are not getting water or the water seems to be having some color, they decided to name this well Miracle Well. And based on that assumption, they offered prayer. Some persons come here, draw out this water, pray to their God, and surprisingly, they started experiencing some miracles. So, history has it that people usually come to draw from this well and pray on it, asking God or whatever they believe in, to be a provider of solutions to their challenges. And most of the time, it works. That should tell you something, that miracle do happens when you believe. So, let's see if we can drink from this well. You remember those days here in Africa where we used to fetch water? This is what we call ifami. Ifami. That is what fetching bucket and I remember that only a few persons in a big house have this so you have to beg them to use their own if your own is bread and mistakenly let's assume as we are just doing the farming you lost the farming the, the farming you lost concentration and you drop it there you will need what we call gala gala Galagala is the iron rod you will use in picking the ifami. Now, this is how we fetch water many years back. What you are seeing here is not ordinary water to some persons. They believe that this is miracle water. But you know what? Who are you to abuse the belief of anybody? Because it is actually what you believe in that works for you. Maybe if you want to buy a jeep, you can pray on this water and you end up getting one. It's your faith that works for you. Wow. But scientifically proven is the fact that, or humanly proven is the fact that one of the reasons why this water ended up coming out as white and always having a constant flow is based on two factors. One, the period in which the well was dug. Then two, the exact location on and how deep the well was dug. So those are basically two of the factors that might have made the water to be white. So if you want to get white water in Badagri, please 
construct those that knows the right time to dig well. Thank you.